But I'm really excited to be doing Twilight and Philosophy because I think that, you know, the characters in that novel make a lot of really important choices and understanding what is going on beneath the surface is really important. Twilight is an interesting time in that it's a time that's neither light nor dark, but in between, right? And I think uh, that the uh, moral worldview of Twilight uh, is really uh, quite like that. Uh, it's not uh, a world of black and white, good and evil, you know, good guys wearing uh, the white hats and bad guys wearing the black hats uh, clearly spelled out for you. Moral, moral uh, ethics is really big in the Twilight series because um, the idea of killing a person is constantly prevalent. But you know, you have certain issues where you have certain times where the idea of taking a life is a gray area. The uh, romance that's played out in the saga, both between uh, Bella and Edward, and also between. Uh, Bella and Jacob, we have uh, the classic questions uh, about love. Uh, what is love? Uh, what does it uh, do to us? Is it a kind of a madness from which we should save ourselves? But uh, the, the character of Bella is just, she's this young, extremely protective, very loyal, she's fiercely loyal, and she's a loving human being, and later turned vampire. And of course, Bella herself uh, is not completely pure and chaste uh, and without fault either, right? Uh, and Jacob, uh, although we all uh, like uh, and identify and wish him well, uh, has his ways of manipulating situations as well. They're really, uh, vampires included, very human characters, uh, not complete saints, not complete sinners. Uh, it's a world uh, that exists in the nether regions between light and dark. I mean, you know, you're supposed to look at Edward and his vegetarian family as a group of people who are sort of morally on a higher ground than other vampires. But when you think about it, they're still taking a life. The ladies love Edward, don't they? Uh, there's no getting away from it. Uh, is he a romantic hero or uh, really is he a kind of a stalker? Uh, of course, it shocks and appalls uh, young women uh, when we hear him described as a stalker, but what would you call someone who sneaks into your room in the middle of the night and watches while you sleep? <laughs> <laughs>